Welcome back. A minimally invasive spinal surgery option is now available at both OSF St. Francis Medical Center in Peoria and OSF St. Joseph Medical Center in Bloomington. That's right. And Dr. Max Kahn, a spinal surgeon with OSF Healthcare, joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Hi. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. So what is, I'm going to say this wrong, endoscopic spine surgery? Sure. Um, endoscopic spine surgery is basically using tiny, tiny little incisions and very, very small cameras, kind of like this one here, to try to fix the problems that people have in either their back or their spine. Wow, so, I mean, what, so what do you have in front of you right there? Would you be able to sure. demonstrate a little bit? Yeah, so basically, if somebody has a spinal problem now, this is the surgery that they get. So this is the spine, and in order to take pressure off of nerves or discs or whatever it is that we're doing, we have to remove a lot of bones. So you can see this big gap here. Um, and while this surgery works, it causes problems down the line because it's very, very destructive. Mm. So newer surgeries with the endoscope, basically this is your nor normal spine, and we take a small endoscope, and then we use natural openings in the yeah. spine to try to fix the problem and make your back pain or neck pain or leg pain better. Um, and uh, the recovery is much, much faster. The incisions are very, very small, and most people go home the same day. Wow. So what kind of people are getting a surgery like this? Sure. Um, basically, it's anybody with bad back pain, bad neck or arm pain, or bad leg pain. So people with herniated discs or sciatica or slip discs or um, even mild deformities um, like scoliosis and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have spinal pain. I know I, my back hurts, my Relatable. neck hurts all the time. <laughs> I mean, if left untreated, what are some things that can happen down the line? Um, typically, it'll either stay the same or get a little bit worse. Um, a lot of these problems are what we call degenerative, meaning they get slightly worse with age. Um, there are some issues like herniated discs that, truthfully, if you try things like physical therapy, they will get better with time. Um, but things that are more like arthritis, like bone spurs, that stuff typically won't get better on its own. So then why, I guess, would this be an option for them? Why is it important that people do know about this surgery to get it? Sure. Um, so the great thing about this is that it is very, very minimally invasive. It's very little tissue injury or muscle injury. People are back on their feet very, very fast. They go home the same day. They can get back to their loved ones and their favorite things to do faster. They can get back to work faster. Um, so it's a way for people to have less pain and get back to doing the things they love. And also, they have less risk of needing future spine surgeries because it's less destructive. Yeah. That's amazing because I know the spine is obviously very, very sensitive <laughs> part of our body. It is. Yeah. I, I, I think everybody has some sort of neck, neck and a spinal pain. But <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We'll share all of these details on our website. Thanks so much. Thank you.